Okay, this is way better, and I'm gonna make a cap at 60. It's not gonna be perfect for the DK2. That's still juddery as hell. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. I'm trying to record this at higher detail than I did last time. Wait, did I use the fence? Yeah. Oh no, no, I'm not falling for that shit again. That is, that is dirty. to make sure it's like I took a picture of this moment in time of the game so I can look around and make sure I'm not being checked out. <sighs> relaxation, I tell you. Relaxation. Oh, the fact that I can... I, I don't have like massive amounts of movement. But I can check around corners very easily without using a key or some bullshit. That's where I have to 
please don't come down here. Coming out, I'm bypassing that area. There's probably going to be a few of them. that I'm directly in this fucker's field of view.
Non-stop, just... I had a few direct looks right there. That was fucking creepy. Ah, That really does look as if... On easy, there's, there's some leniency there. I know that the alien is here. In fact, I hear doors and I'm not opening them. Do not get near the rubber maids. right next my ear right next to an air vent That was pretty obvious what I had to do, right? Oh shit, a transition! Ooh! Oh! That's, they're so rewarding in this game! Get to Sevastopol Sci Med Tower. Oh, huh. simple enough, okay. And it does look like I've, I've changed location, so whatever adversity I'm going to have, probably not the alien. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, and the picture, the moment in time. If the alien came with me, you guys are dirty as fuck. And what was that? Oh, was that the transit leaving? Can I loot this? Can I break this? Well, there's physics. First time I realized that, that I'm not like, <laughs> so <laughs> terrified of what happens next in the game. Hey, and I, I gotta remind that I am actually recording in higher quality than last time. 
I'm probably gonna publish this, so even though I labeled it as a random let's play, it does look like we're going for a few in a row here. I mean, I, I, I fired up the game uh, before that, that number one uh, random let's play. I played a bit. Obviously, you saw I got uh, somewhat deeper into the game than just the beginning. Um, and I was doing tests here and there and recording them as I went because maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll want to review this game uh, at some point or something. But, uh, I don't know, I, I, it, despite the fact that it's terrifying to play, it is so well done and such a very good experience that I've uh, been wanting to come back. Yesterday I almost did, I was too tired, it was Wednesday night, it was Thursday night, uh, feeling a little more into it, a little more energy, it does take a certain type of mood to want to play this game. You can't just play it when you're dead tired. You're either going to do terrible or just feel terrible. Um, okay, nice. I am uh, uh, venturing away. I don't know if that's a good idea. All I want to do is just check out the area and loot a little bit. And it's not creepy at all. There's a whole section here. That door activatable? Nope. I don't hear any rubber mates. I don't hear any thumping. I do hear little sounds, but oh shit. Hey, 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 fuck. Okay. A moment of uh, VR controls. I did just save my game too, so let's loot if if it is lootable. No. And speaking of, I did use a noise maker. I might want to actually go ahead and make another one of those. And as usual, I gotta use the gamepad to do this. Uh, do I have enough of everything? I believe so. go item constructed yay let's get to another uh whoops nope that is definitely not what i wanted to do did i pick up any booze i, I still don't have any booze revolver flare uh, all i have to do is this and then ha 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 i am such a badass What the fuck? I didn't expect that at all. Uh oh. Oh shit. Yeah. Fuck your mother. Fuck your fucking mother. Fuck you! <sighs> Come on! <sighs> it was all peaceful for a moment there. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. It looked like a transitional segment of the game. And these crates are highly misleading. They look like stuff you can fucking loot. Well, I don't mind this happening here, though. Well, it's, it's fucking... Don't get me wrong. If, like, even though I told it to fuck its mother, it's still... Whew, just... One heck of an impact. You know what? I, I don't feel like dancing right now. It does appear to suggest that I use Terminal 2. And doing otherwise does not look like the wisest choice. Now, I call 
the transit and there's an alien in here. I'm going to have to play this a little smarter. Maybe just this like that. Maybe like that. Hey, if, if I can't open the door, it better not be allowed to open the door. was there. Fuck. Yes. You know what? That's enough. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Stupid fucking alien. Yeah, um... I've been told by Einkrow, no spoilage though. He's just made a specification that the section of Entered is some of the most intense gameplay in the game so far. So... I... Did... Okay, I thought the transit was stuck somewhere. Holy oh, shit. Hang on. Um, yes, it is, but I'm saving my game. No fucking around. We're saving before the cutscene takes place. How is she? Medical's nearby. I didn't want to leave. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair. Oh no! The nerdy girl's hurt. Hannah B. Williams. Well, you know what? That might be a good thing because the alien can't follow me anymore. Unless it already did. Do you think the alien followed me? There's little time to waste. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, what's my objective? Explore the hospital for medical supplies to help Taylor. I have to explore? <laughs> okay, we'll do that later. Yeah, um, that's, that's enough for today. That's, uh, it, it was tense all the way. I didn't even get, like, a smooth introduction here. I didn't even get a freaking loot section, for fuck's sake. Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's finding help. Yes, stay with him. I want to the, the lose the nerdy girl on my watch. Okay, no, seriously, I'll play through this another day. I've uh, been killed once by an alien, a really pissed off one. Did not expect that. I thought the game was giving me a reprieve. Bull fuck. Um, and the alien can follow you through a transit, apparently. That uh, has happened, so nice. Lovely relaxation session again in Alien Isolation. Much higher detail than last time. Um, it's about twice the detail. Uh, I am posting at 720p still. It's just the originals I work off of normally. I record 1080p half size. Yes, half size. Why? Well, because full size tends to uh, fuck with my frame rate. It did it a few times during this playthrough because now I'm at full size 1080. Um, and oh yeah, I want to make a note on the cropping of the image. Now, I did a few experiments like unwarping the image because there's lenses in the rift so they sort of bend the image for, oh look, for it to work with the lenses in the Oculus Rift. And I've tried methods of de-warping that for my stereoscopic videos and there is a method I can use that is more CPU intensive that I'm actually gonna try to optimize so my renders don't take forever to finish. But I would like to start using that. And of course, when I take VR and turn it into a 2D image or a stereoscopic image, there is some detail lost because the 1080p image of the Oculus Rift is full side by side. You are getting two full size, not squished viewports that are each 960 by 1080 pixels 
So half the, the left half of the screen in the rift is for your left eye, and the right half of the screen in the rift is for your right eye. So I need to enlarge that and crop it so it doesn't, um, does, does either one or two things that can happen. Either the image will only fill half your screen, which kind of sucks, you know, big black bars on the left and right, or I crop the image during which I lose detail on the image, um, which is why this 1080p capture will still look somewhat like um, low quality 720p, sorry, that's how it is, but uh, will be much better than the two other ones uh, for sure. In fact, I can't wait to go check it out myself. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this this place is really welcoming. Uh, my number one selection for a vacation spot. Uh, why is why? Yeah, you better. All right, so see you soon, people. Maybe in a let's play. Maybe I'll play the next section because I've been told it's in tests. It's possible I don't even LP it. So. That's why I called the series Random Let's Play, so that I can do it when I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sounds sounds lame, but it's it's not. I mean, it's a lot of work. I, I found a method to process these super rapidly compared to, say, my first impressions videos, which have footage, and I, you normally end up with three to four tracks of video. In this case, I kept things simple uh, for myself uh, so that I could post these rapidly when I want to make them. I like the video to go up uh, the day after I recorded it. So That's it. Um, thanks for watching. And, uh, well, subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you want to see more Alien Isolation. And of course, check out Ein Crow Productions' channel. He's the one, he's the original gun clapper. The one who decided to start doing this first and uh, sort of gave me, uh, I sort of caught on, I caught the virus. This is spoilage for me because this playthrough right now is dead to me. So I'm just making sure that when I wander in here that I'm not gonna, okay, looks cool, looks cool. I believe, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think someone wants me to keep out of there. But I also believe, knowing this fucking game, that I'm now being invited by the gameplay to get the hell in there. Possibly not something I want to do. Door locked. Alright, and just getting my way around. Just getting a general idea. I have to restore the power. Alright, and what's on the other side? Any rooms here? No? There's a baby uh, diaper changing station. I guess people travel with babies in Sevastopol very often. It is a transit station. Baby diaper changing station. It must be nice on a really busy day while the people are coming through the turnstiles. Turnstiles, there's no style, there's no turning thingy, but there, there is a, you know what I mean. Anyways, and then there's two women here changing at bloody ass diapers and this garbage pail here is filled with diapers full of poop. Thank God there's no smell of vision in VR. All right, uh, yeah, there are things you don't want to immerse anybody in, which uh, smell, imagine all the zombie survival games, how great the smell would be if we had smell of vision It's probably why it is possible and no one's ever done it because it would suck. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, thanks for watching, see you.